Many experts and teachers advise that it is better to take the FE exam as soon as you graduate. But what if someone wasn't able to take the FE exam right after graduation? What if someone decided to take the FE exam a few years or months later? Can they get a good score? Is it still possible to pass the FE exam later in your career? Yes, it is possible. Success truly depends upon the efforts that you put into acquiring your desired goal. And that is what I will be talking to you about today in this week's Pass the FE Exam. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Studying for the Fundamentals of Engineering, or FE exam, after some time away from school is not only possible, but achievable with dedication and a well-structured plan. And through this video, I will give you a guide that provides actionable steps for professionals looking to prepare for the FE exam while working. I have 10 specific tips for you. Let's go. Number one, create a study schedule. Develop a detailed schedule that allocates specific time slots for studying each and every day. Tailor the schedule to your availability and commitments. Consistency is key. Sticking to a routine helps you make steady progress, and not just in preparing for the FE, but in life. Number two, review exam topics. Familiarize yourself with the NCWS exam topic outline available on their website. Use this outline to identify areas where you need to focus more. Prioritize topics based on their weightage. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Number three, select quality study materials. Choose study materials that suit your learning style and schedule. Opt for reputable sources such as books, online courses, and practice exams like PPI to Pass by Kaplan. Focus on quality over quantity to ensure effective learning. Number four, practice time management. As the FE exam is time bound, practice solving problems under timed conditions. This helps you build your confidence in managing your time efficiently during the actual exam. Put yourself in exam-like conditions as much as possible. This is key. Number five, join study groups. Engage with online or in-person study groups to stay motivated and exchange insights with fellow exam takers. Ensure the group is committed to consistent studying and maintains a compatible skill level. Teamwork makes the dream work, believe me, in every aspect of your career, including this one. Number six, utilize workplace resources. If you work for an engineering firm, inquire about available resources for FE exam preparation. Some employers offer study materials or support for employees pursuing further education. This can be really helpful, especially because the exam and the materials can be costly. Number seven, identify challenging and easy topics. During your study journey, identify topics that you find challenging and ones that come naturally to you. This will help you know how much you need to focus in the different areas and use your time productively. Number eight, seek guidance from experienced individuals. Reach out to those who have already passed the FE exam for advice and insights. Their experiences can provide valuable tips on time management, study strategies, and question types. Get info from those who have it. Don't recreate the wheel. Number nine, dedicate time for practice. Regular practice is essential for success on the FE exam. Gather practice problems and questions in one place and work through them diligently. Keep track of your progress to gauge your preparedness and again, time yourself to prepare for that exam day pressure. Number 10, engage in active study. Active studying involves focused and distraction-free learning. Create an environment conducive to concentration 
by eliminating disturbances and keep your motivation high by reminding yourself of your ultimate goal. Essentially, hide your cell phone. Passing the FE exam after being away from school for some time is achievable through diligent preparation and effective study strategies. By creating a personalized study schedule, focusing on challenging areas, practicing actively, and seeking guidance from experienced individuals, you can overcome obstacles and succeed in your pursuit of an engineering license. Remember, success depends on your dedication and the effort that you invest in achieving your goal. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't get your FE because you waited too long. It's never too late. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below, and I will read and I will respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.